So, ayun, how are you? Okay? So, let's begin. The topic for today, my husband is here listening. The topic for today is that uh, we have to talk little blah, blah, blah about the topic which is how did I meet my husband? But first of all, uh, before he'll talk, I will talk. Okay. Uh, year 1989, when I went to Greece, as uh, any ad anybody else that they are going outside Philippines, outside the country, like any anybody else, they are work going outside the country to work as an OFW. So me, since uh, it was, I mean, it was 1989 when I went to Athens, Greece to work as an OFW there. So, I have my off. I'm going out with friends sometimes. So, one time, my friend in Greece invited me to go with her, to go with her, to meet her boyfriend, friend, I don't know. So, I said to her, no, I cannot go with you. How can I go with you? I'll be out of place, I said to her. So, at the end, I agreed to go with her. So, we went to a place where uh, that place was uh, a tourist spot, tourist place in Athens, Greece called Sindagma. So, in that garden, there are, there are some beans, beans, chair. Bins. Mm. Bench. Bench. Chairs. Uh, chair. So, uh, they sit in that side, in one bench. Me, I sit in this side. So, while I'm waiting them, making blah, 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 making sweetie, sweetie, I s sit separately. So, while I'm waiting them, I'm shivering like this and like that. It was month of uh, February. February. February, yes. Uh, so while I'm waiting them, suddenly somebody came near me, but I was, I have my jacket, putting my hood like that, so I was shivering like this, like this, and like that, so one man come to me, he said to me, hi, hello, but I didn't answer, and then he repeated again, hi, hello, that's the time I, I answered him, but I didn't look at his face i just look at his shoes which is very shining and his pants wow so i was leather pants, leather pants. his leather pants and shining shoes caught my attention so he began asking me what i'm doing here with whom i was something like this and then i answered his question until it reads the time that uh, we begin changing conversation wow. right right yeah, so until okay until it treats the conversation about uh, asking me to if he can call me i said to him no i can't because uh, my employer are very strict something like this and like that so uh, what he done he give his telephone number he write in a small paper which is a card bus at that time he write it down so that's it after a uh, few weeks a month maybe uh, I was cleaning my room in my workplace and I found that uh, piece of paper under my bed because I wanted to clean up my room so I was uh, surprised when I found the telephone number under the under my bed so I said oh I was surprised to see oh I know this I, I, I didn't exactly remember what it is and then at the end I remember who gave this phone number to me so to my surprise I don't know how it come to my brain to call him so what happened is that I called him and my first introduction was hello do you know do you remember me i said to him like that it's right what i'm yeah. saying do you, <laughs> yeah do you remember me that's him look look at him hi everyone 
<laughs> he's listening so where i was okay so i called him and then i said to him do you remember me and then he said to me i was <laughs> i don't know why it comes so sure i remember her but at that time for us Asian, actually, Asian faces, we look Straight at them in the beginning, all the same. We can't uh, see the difference. So we began talking and uh, she gave me a fake name. She didn't give me her true name. What Wait. happened that we make a date, but uh, as I said before, that for me, all Filipina, they look the face the same. So <laughs> how I will know her? And uh, okay. as she told you, it's a place called Sindagma Square. It's a tourist place. So actually many Asian, Japanese, Chinese, especially in winter, Chinese, they come. Filipina. So I can't know Filipina from Chinese and Chinese from Filipina. Plus, I don't know this from this. So what happened to be wise on her? I told her, OK, tell me what you will wear because I'll bring you a gift. <laughs> I want to surprise you. She said to me what she will wear. I said, okay. The date was about six o'clock in the p.m. I said to her, what you play, what you say to go to eat something in a restaurant and we can talk a little. So to me, okay. So we went uh, to a restaurant. We talked. She tell me about her past, about her present, about her dreams. I told her the same. Uh, what I past, what like this. Anyway, after that, we finished the dinner, we were happy and like this, so we went for a walk. So, there is something funny happened while we were walking, uh, because we are going up and uh, I, I have to put her as a gentleman near a cab, so she can take a taxi and go home to be sure that she can reach. So, while we are walking, uh, enjoying our talk and like this, I looked behind, beside me, I didn't see her. I said, what she is? Then she appeared. I didn't, I said maybe she want to see something. Like disappear. Whatever. Then we walk again. Then she disappeared again. I said, what? Why is she disappearing? What's happening? <laughs> I don't walk near you. She don't walk near me. And she, you know, she covered like this. She put the hood. You can't see nothing from her face. I said, what's happening to her? Why every time she walk with me, she go far? And, and she hide herself like this. So I felt that uh, she's embarrassed from me, something like that. This is what I understand. So what happened? I put her in the cup and I said to her, okay, see you later. But actually I was very, very sad inside. Because uh, it never happened to me like this. I never get ashamed from nobody. So why somebody will get ashamed from me? So she called me. After that, uh, the next day, I think, I talked to her in uh, a, a rude way, not a bad way, a rude way. And it's like I pretend that I'm not interested or something. Then she understand that uh, from my voice that I'm not okay. She said to me, why are you are upset? I said to her, because of what happened yesterday. We eat in the restaurant, everything was okay. We walk, I was very gentle with you. I didn't talk something bad. I didn't try to touch your hand or to grab a kiss from you or something. I was very respectful. So why you do like that? I don't deserve this. I'm, uh, I, I'm not a bad person. Then she explained to me, you know, every time I disappear, maybe you didn't notice, there was a group of Filipinos was passing. Because as I told you in the beginning of the video, that it's a tourist place. So every time she see Filipina passing, she hides. I know. <laughs> because she's afraid maybe somebody he, she or he recognize her and he will tell her sister because she was very scared from her sister at that time. Anyway, so I understand. So every time we meet, if there is Filipina, I got used, she go far. Even, I will tell something, <laughs> even when we get married, we walk. It happened many times. I, and I said to her, I make the ring like this. I said to her, hey, hello, we are married now. Come on. <laughs> and she make like this. She tell me, oh my God, I forget. Every time she see Filipina, she, <laughs> she go far from me. When we are boyfriend and girlfriend, yeah. I understand. When we are boyfriend and girlfriend, I, I understand that. But after we get married, she continued this, I think, for the three, four months. And then she begin showing her tummy that she's pregnant. At that time, she understand that I'm, I'm, I'm married. Okay? 
But until that time, every time she ran, I know that she's running. So what I do, I raise my finger and I say, hello, we are married. We are married. Come, come, don't be afraid from my cousins. Because I call the Filipino my cousins or Kabayan, as they say. So <laughs> we passed very good. Uh, she was a very gentle woman with me. That's why I loved her. That's why I married a woman from outside my country, not a Lebanese like me. And uh, actually, I have been married 29, going to, to, to 30 now. And uh, for 30 years, married as to a Lebanese or to Arabic uh, man. It's difficult. We pass a lot, me and her, even our kids. My big son, he passed a lot in the beginning because when we come back from Greece here, thanks God, my parents, they accept everything was okay. I'm not making a compliment, but she can talk about my parents. She have the free talk to talk. They accepted her very well, but the people here, they bother her and they bother me and they bother my first kid too much. Even in the schools, we pass a lot. If we, if we, if I will talk what I pass and what I felt about my wife and about my kid, how they, how much they are handled. That's why I admire her strengths because now it's normal. A Filipina to marry Lebanese, etc., or to Sri Lankan or Indonesian or whatever. It's normal. Now. In the beginning. But yeah, before okay. 30 years, before 30 years, it was very difficult. The people they don't accept. Racist. They are very racist. Okay. Okay. My community, my my family, my cousins, my ladies. They maybe behind my back they talk. I don't know. But at least in front of me they respect her too much. But my parents behind and in front, especially my father. God bless him wherever he is in the heaven. Every time we quarrel, me and her, always, always, she come in her side, not in my side. And he always said to me, she don't have nobody, don't be strong on her. And you know, husband and uh, wife, they quarrel sometimes, it's normal to quarrel. But always he said to me this, don't be strong on her. She's not Lebanese, she's a foreigner, and she don't have nobody. You are her family, so protect her as much as you can. And thanks God, this is what I've done. And uh, <laughs> I was young, she was old, now she's young, I'm old. <laughs> I changed the topic with it. You Filipina, I want to know something. Why you don't get old? And if I show you my picture, me and her before, you'll say I'm her son. Now I'm her daddy. I don't know why. She's still young, I mean, I'm old. Uh, I bless everyone, really, not compliment. Everyone will marry a Filipina because you know Filipina is a clean woman. At least she don't have smell. Yeah, that, that, that's the truth. Okay. She don't have smell. <laughs> uh, even she don't make shower for a long time. She don't smell, man. <laughs> and uh, her her skin is very 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 soft. No hair. Uh -huh. And this is what I like. <laughs> Thanks God. And uh, one thing more I want to say to you guys, that uh, my dream, her dream is to stay in Lebanon, my wife. Me, my dream, as a Lebanese, to live in Philippines. Seriously. Because I like, I, I like the people there, even some of them, they are Sismosa, but they have good hearts. Yeah, some of them, they are Sismosa, they like blah, blah, blah. But the, the majority, they are very good persons. They have very good hearts. And this is what I like, seriously. God bless you all, Filipina. Seriously, God bless your countries. Hope one day I will have the Philippine uh, citizen. Uh, Hope so. This is my dream. Some people, they dream to have Canada, to have America. Me, I dream to have Filipino passport. Seriously. And uh, I talk too much. Uh, um, this is this huh? story. This is uh, a small story of us. Now I, we we make a video before me and my wife. We were walking, and I promised you guys that we'll begin showing views uh, how we live as a family. Like today, some of the friends of my big son, mm -hmm. 
he would invite his. Uh, she's not his fiance, but like fiance, and his friends. You will see how they will talk. But uh, after that, I, I I'm his mother also. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> the topic is about how I meet you. So ah, this okay. one question, yeah. one question. Yeah. If yes. at that time I lost the telephone number, what will happen? Do not mind. Uh. Uh, how I can see you? Yeah. You you give me fake name. Yes. You didn't give me your number, so yes. how I'll find so you? So this is the main uh, route. And the good things, you know what? The, the, the Filipina that she went with to see her boyfriend, he's not her husband, but me, I just met her, I, I become her husband. Yeah, yung ano, yung namit, yung uh, the one that I accompanied her to meet her boyfriend. But she's not the Filipino. Yeah, right? meet her boyfriend. Hindi sila nagkatuluyan. But her son, her son is very famous in Greece. Yeah. He is a good singer and he have very very talented voice. He went to uh, voice kids of uh, Greek, Greek uh, voice kid, and uh, he win. He win the title. He's very good. His father is a Filipino, right? Or yeah, concentrate yeah. on the topic. No, I'm just uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, that That's what I like you. I like yeah. because you put you you concentrate I, I'm concentrating in one topic but you have like this. Yeah, because I like to speak. Yeah, okay. And that's good. Because uh, you know how I become a mozo because I eat pancet canton, pancet sotahon, uh, adobo. Oh my god, adobo. I like adobo too much. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and she makes me very, 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 very beautiful. And rice, of course. But I put noodles with it. I like to eat rice every day. Rice and noodles. But, uh, but mixed with noodles, I like. Mm -hmm. Shairi, we call it here in the bottom. Okay. Okay, that's it. Okay, For that's now. It. You know what you say? That's it. <laughs> you look beautiful. <laughs> and you want to really? Yeah, in the, in the well, camera. <laughs> in the camera. What about personal? Don't, don't insult me in front I'm of my so, in come front on. of my friend. My no, 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 no. You said to all, me all like the this. all the respect. No, yes? I, love, I never do that. <laughs> you know, man. No, I never, I never. Come on. Because you don't, not... make, don't don't show them that I'm a bad person. I'm not. <laughs> come on, I don't like. Because you know why? Because I'm wearing lipstick. I put my lipstick. I can see that, isn't it? Yeah, I see it. Ah, really? Yeah. Because <laughs> this is uh, far. Ah, I can no, see no. that. Okay, so what you want to say else? Now that the lockdown is uh, over. What I want to say is that uh, we promise you a lot of videos in the, in the, in the future because we'll go many places like as usual if they will allow us we'll make barbecue in the fields uh, we'll go to a spring place we'll go mountains uh, this is what we do actually but uh, now because it's corona i'm very protective for my family because i don't like to lose any one of my family that's why we are uh, trying to stay home as much we can because COVID-19 is not a joke, it's serious. So yeah. please guys, please, 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 take care of yourself. You want to mix with others, mix, but always put mask, always have uh, distance between each other. Okay, I'm not, I don't have this as my wife because it's, she's my wife and we stay home. <laughs> well, but if she's not my wife, I'm not, I'll, I'll be two meters far from her, actually. So, uh, seriously, take care of yourself because life is one. It's not two, it's okay. one. Live it nice. It's okay for one year, two years to stay inside. It's okay. But at least we'll live after. And there is hope because there is vaccinations. It's coming to all the countries. I know for poor countries, it's not coming quick, like here, like in Philippines, like uh, Indonesia or whatever. But we must hope and handle and pray. Please, guys, take care of yourself. God bless you all. You, uh, you and your kids and your family, wherever you are, in Philippines or in all over the world, take care of yourself. Love you all. Okay, shout out time mga kalalabs. Shout out kay Jofer Vlog, uh, Silver Pretty USA, Road Trip and Sis Vlog, at saka kay Isaac Covers. So, 
Yun ang content natin mga kalalab. Sana'y nagustuhan nyo ang kwentong mahaba. So, uh, don't forget po to like and subscribe. Sa mga hindi pa nakasubscribe dyan, subscribe na. At, uh, yun nga, don't forget to like. Okay mga kalalab. So, hanggang sa muli, kita-kits tayo uli sa susunod na Blah, 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 blah.